Netflix and Martin Scorsese's The Irishman brought the crimes of the nation's most prominent union leader, Jimmy Hoffa, back to public consciousness in a way they haven't been since Hoffa's disappearance in 1975. Much like at the end of the film, today's generation has forgotten about Hoffa and the institutionalized corruption he represented. But while Hoffa is dead, labor union corruption lives on. The Teamsters, the 1.2 million member strong union Hoffa led, that is currently led by his son, James Hoffa, still struggles with corruption. In 2017, Teamsters for a Democratic Union criticized four prominent Teamsters officials and Hoffa allies for making concessions to employers allegedly in return for improper gifts. In 2017, the president of Teamsters Joint Council 25 was charged by federal prosecutors with attempted extortion and taking prohibited payments for a scheme in which he threatened a business with work stoppages unless he was paid $25,000 every three months. In 2019, he pled guilty, admitting he extorted a total of $325,000 from the president of Cinespace Studio and cheated the IRS in the state of Illinois out of about a total of $117,000 in tax revenue. Corruption at the United Auto Workers might be even worse. Starting in 2009, numerous union officials accepted bribes from a Fiat Chrysler Automobile's vice president. One UAW vice president's kickbacks included $262,000 to pay off his mortgage. In 2008, the head of a local SEIU branch directed $600,000 in contracts to his wife, used union dues to pay for his cigar club membership, and put $8,000 in wedding expenses on the union credit card. He was convicted on 14 counts of embezzlement, tax law violations, and mail fraud. In 2019, from Philadelphia's local International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Union, boss Johnny Dock allegedly bribed a city councilman and now stands on trial for embezzlement, theft, and wire fraud charges. Of course, the losers in all of these examples are the rank-and-file workers the unions are supposed to represent. But none of those examples come close to the legalized corruption of kickbacks from politicians, which hurts all American taxpayers. As of 2019, labor unions represent the ninth largest interest sector contributing to political races, with 83.7% of that money going to Democrats. And the unions get what they pay for. The UAW spent over $13 million on the 2008 elections to support Barack Obama and his fellow Democrats. Shortly after, President Obama's auto bailout included provisions giving the UAW pension fund a valuable stake in Chrysler. Union corruption may not be as bad as it once was, but it's still alive and well. It's time to end it once and for all. I'm Michael Watson. If you like this video, you can read about the Teamsters, the UAW, and more on InfluenceWatch.org. Thanks for watching.